Hi, I'm Mariah, and as some of you may know, I am currently a full-time culinary student and part-time pastry chef. And today, I'll be showing you guys what I keep in my toolbox for everyday use, both at school and at work, as well as my essentials and things you should consider getting yourself if you are starting out culinary school or working as a pastry chef as well. I'd like to talk about the toolbox itself first. I finally decided to upgrade from my old plastic toolbox to this Toyo Steel T360 series toolbox in the color white. No, this is not sponsored. I really wish it was. I wanted something more portable, more durable, and mostly more stylish. The second I saw the toolbox, I had to get it. It was a well needed upgrade for sure. So let's get into it. So the first thing I have is my trusty, crusty, dusty recipe book, as well as a mini weighing scale that can weigh up to five kilos, mainly because we never have enough scales at school for each student. So like this, I don't have to worry about finding a scale. Next, I am placing all of my piping tips and nozzles in this plastic organizer. Truly a game changer. It does take up quite a bit of space but I hate having my nozzles running around everywhere. I definitely don't use all of them, so I could definitely downsize this if I wanted to. I'm also storing some of these nitrogen chargers in the same container, since I have nowhere else to put them. Nitrogen chargers are normally put into siphons or whipped cream canisters to aerate the liquid inside to turn it into a foam. Next thing I have is my micro weighing scale for weighing various fine powders and such it's especially great for gelatin and agar agar since regular scales don't normally pick them up next i have various sizes of what i thought were stainless steel circle cutters i ended up buying a completely new set which is currently at work so for visual purposes you guys are seeing this crusty one no i am not using it anymore because as you can see they look disgusting just for visual purposes Next thing, I always keep two kitchen timers, mainly for culinary school during restaurant service or competitions, so I don't have to use my phone and get distracted by it. And they're also magnetic, so I like to stick them to my box like this. Next, I have my trusty metal bench scraper, which I have literally had for forever, and it's great for cleaning up surfaces. Now, you might notice that some of the items have tape around them, and that is how I used to mark my items in the past so I would be able to recognize that they're mine, but now I just engrave my name onto the metal, which I'll show you guys in a second. I also have various plastic scrapers and cake combs, but realistically speaking, I don't need this many. I only need to have a flat square one, a rounded one, which is great for scraping food out of a bowl, and this plastic cake comb, which you are seeing has the spikes. I also have this pair of tongs, which I mostly use at culinary school, during kitchen class and service, not so much for pastry, but I need it either way. And of course, how can I forget the microplane? And I also removed the plastic guard that came with because it was too much of a hassle to keep on and it took up too much space. And as you can tell, I could use all the space I can get. Now we're not ready just yet. Next thing I'm showing you guys is this infrared thermometer, which I highly recommend. It's accurate, it's mess free, and it has never failed me, especially when making macarons. I feel like that's a big deal. Although I'm not even using it at the moment because I don't have the proper battery for it. So I don't even know why I'm placing it inside my toolbox. Anyways, I'll just end up removing it later on during the video. I also have a regular temperature probe, which is what I am currently using as of right now. Now this is better for getting an internal temperature reading, whereas with the infrared gun, you're more likely to get just the surface temperature, so if I had to pick, the probe is more reliable. I also keep this mini blowtorch on me, which I have yet to fill up, since my bigger blowtorch doesn't fit in my toolbox and the stoves at work and school are gas hobs that need to be turned on using a lighter. That makes everything so much more easier if I have a mini blowtorch. And sometimes the blowtorches at work just disappear or break for some reason. So like this, I have a backup. Next up, so remember before I mentioned how I write my name on my things now, so I know that they're mine. Well, I do that with this portable engraving tool. This comes in super handy for when I buy something new and I want to write my name on it to prevent it from accidentally getting taken 
emphasis on the accidentally because there are very few knife brands here in Malta so almost everyone I work with or go to school with has the same exact knives as me the same brands so like this we won't accidentally take each other's stuff and I'll know which ones are mine if for example we're washing the dishes or I lend my tools to someone it's kind of hard to make the writing look cute since it's like constantly moving but I, I, I just think it adds character I also like to keep various spatulas of all shapes and sizes like for instance this white one is more of a multi-purpose one while this black one is great for folding in mousses, creams and other ingredients and this red one is absolutely perfect for scraping clean the sides of a bowl or making uh, the macaronage for macarons in this case and before you come at me yes I saw my knives raw no guard no cover no nothing I know this is wrong don't come at me okay it's just they take up too much space and I'm super careful about it and it also serves as a potential threat possibly to whoever may decide to possibly open my toolbox without my consent like bam knives you know since this expensive ass toolbox doesn't have a hole to put a lock through so I have to resort to my knives <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying yeah no don't do that uh, here's me struggling to try and find a place for it because of how full my toolbox was at this point so as far as knives go I have a regular sized chef knife a smaller chef knife for more precise work a serrated chef knife for cutting bread cakes and fruit more dense items I also have a mini serrated office knife which I love very dearly and a regular office knife which I've purchased for the third time now because it keeps getting fucking stolen now I don't have many knives, if you're a culinary student I recommend getting all of these knives though as well as a filleting knife. You don't need the smaller chef knife as long as you have a large one. I also have some palette knives, I have this mini palette knife as well as this awkwardly sized straight palette knife which I don't even use that much because it's at that stage where it's not big enough to hold a cake but too big to be used for smaller things. I should definitely get an offset spatula though. And I also recommend that you get a peeler for fruit and vegetables unfortunately for me that was also stolen and i haven't bought one since i also have this ridiculously small pair of scissors i definitely should get a bigger pair but normally we have at work so that's fine also uh, i decided in the middle of filming this video that i would reorganize the entire box because of the placement of everything it was just pissing me off like which is why it looks so different now uh, next, I also have this metal little tin where I keep all of my mini detailed paintbrushes and tweezers and I also have this small ruler which didn't fit in that box so I'm just gonna eat that somewhere else. I definitely should get a bigger ruler but judging by the amount of space I have left, probably not a good idea. I also have some bigger paintbrushes here which I use for things like brushing on egg wash, glazing fruit, dusting chocolate garnish, stuff like that. Uh, I love brushes like this. If you come up to me with a silicone brush, I am throwing that shit in the trash. This just feels like more artsy, you know. I also have my cake decorating tools with me since we are going to start learning on how to make wooden cakes soon at culinary school and how to decorate them. And you guessed it, these did not fit in that little box either, so I'm just gonna eat them as well. And god knows where they're gonna go, but yeah, no one said I was organized, okay? This is not an organizational video. Oh my god, something I didn't show you guys, because once again, it got stolen, are spoons. For some apparent reason, spoons are extremely hard to get a hold of if you work in a kitchen. I, I don't know, make it make sense. We never have spoons. Never. So, I know someone's just hiding spoons somewhere. Anyways, that just proves my point because I had like three in here but they're all gone. I also had like this milk frother thingy but it broke. Uh, it was perfect for like remixing emulsions super quickly. I also like to keep this on me. This is a leaf twill silicone mat for creating beautiful crunchy leaves to garnish with. I use this a ton at work and school. I also have an ice cream scoop which I normally just use at work for like room service and stuff and then I have this baby whisk which I adore. She comes in really handy, especially for my competition, she was an OG. Next I have this snap ball tea strainer which can actually be used 
two dust powders when plating or garnishing or something. And then I also have this perforated spoon for when I make caviar using molecular gastronomy. I definitely recommend getting a spoon like this if you're into molecular gastronomy. And so far that is it. Like I mentioned, I do have a lot of things that are missing. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna make that work because I have no space left. <laughs> I know it is extremely full. That's how full my old toolbox was and somehow it was like almost double the size so I don't know how that works but however I did strategically place all of the items I use at the very top. Uh, the items I use the most so that they're easy to reach for me and I normally just empty out and clean my toolbox every day and I always set the tools I plan on using aside before starting my work. This is what works for me. I don't want to get a bigger one because it's already really heavy and at least I'm gonna have like strong arms or something. And yeah, that is everything I keep with me in my toolbox for culinary school and work as a pastry chef. If you are not updated but you would like to be, make sure to check out my Instagram at Marzi, two R's, two S's, as well as my TikTok at Mariah, M A double -R, R underscore I H. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. I will see you very soon for another video. Bye guys. Thank you.